right, Song of Solomon chapter seven. Let's call this one Your Feet, which is literally gonna come out of one of the first few verses, actually verse one, where he is going to say, how beautiful are your feet in sandals, O noble daughter, in this chapter that seems to roughly take the shape of a simple call and response from Solomon to his bride. Solomon calling once again with a description of her layered beauty in the first eight verses for her to respond in the last few verses. I think it's verses nine through 13 with an acceptance that can only be described in the Greek term for love as eros or that kind of love that God has reserved for a man and a woman who he is united in marriage, understanding that this time the nuance that we get on Solomon's description of her beauty starts with, as we already mentioned, her feet, reminding me of the way that not only is he appreciating her item by item, but he seems to be appreciating her in a way that admires the way in which God can preserve beauty like no other. Recalling that in the first chapter, this is a woman who was early on in life cast out to work the vineyards because she, for some reason, lost favor with her brothers. And we don't know how hard she might have been working in the vineyard, but she was doing that outdoor labor, not necessarily easy work, reminding me of the way in which God can not only preserve beauty divinely, understanding that it is a gift from God that even the most difficult labor can't necessarily take away if God is blessing it divinely. However, it's also showing us the way in which God can use labor to shape beauty, understanding there are ways in which work shapes our form in ways that a life of leisure simply can't. And so much like we saw in the life of Joseph, the thing that his brothers meant for evil, God actually used for good. And so it may not say it specifically in the Song of Solomon. But by the time we get to this chapter, having seen the way she was introduced in the first chapter as a woman who was cast out to work, the added burden of that labor early on in her life might have produced the kind of beauty and pleasant nature that now captivate a king.